Hey guys, this is Owen from Primal RC, and today I got something pretty exciting for you. We have the latest system from Castle. This is their gigantic motor that they sell now for fifth scale and quarter scale vehicles. This is their 2535 motor paired with their Cobra 5 HV, which can do up to 12S. And yeah, this is a really awesome system. I can show you all the features and everything we have to do to get it to fit in our new electric conversion. So yeah, like I said, this is the Cobra 5 HV ESC from Castle, and it can do 6 to 12S LiPo, and we have it paired with their 2535 motor. This is the 520 kV version, but there's also a 680 kV, so there's a slightly faster version available. Um, the ESC is pretty sweet. It's got a 5 to 8.5 volt uh, BEC, so plenty of power for our 130 kilogram servos up front and it's a censored setup so there's a sensor wire coming off the motor that goes into the ESC so it's super smooth. This setup has all their awesome cryo drive and quiet sense and smart sense technology so they have tons of really good features and engineering built into this so it's a really awesome system it's super smooth and tons of power with the 12s lipos. The ESC also comes with the dongle out of the box, so you can hook it up to your computer, you can get the software on their website, and you can program all these different settings to fine tune it to your setup. So if you order this speed control from Primal RC, we'll have it set up already to go in a monster truck, so it's as plug and play as possible. Really the main things that we do to the programming for you is we reverse the motor direction so that it spins the correct way for our electric conversion. That just gets your drive shaft going the right way so that the truck goes forward and reverse properly. And then we also set up the BEC so that it powers your servos because these are high voltage servos. And then we just do a couple other fine tuning things so that it's really nice to drive and fits perfectly with the uh, 80 pound monster truck. So I'll just quickly show you a couple specific things we had to do to get this to work in our monster truck. So I'm still using the uh, battery box. We have the stock wiring harness running down the side of the truck. And then this ESC is pretty cool. It has two wires. One of them is for your throttle control and then one of them is an auxiliary wire. This can be programmed to do a bunch of different things in their software. And what we actually set it up to do is be a speed control so it basically limits the top speed. Um, and we have it plugged in over here into the channel four wire. That's where the reverse servo was originally plugged in on the gas truck. So we have it plugged into channel four here. And then obviously the uh, main ESC wire, the yellow one is plugged into channel two. What that means is when you're driving the truck, the throttle works as normal, but the channel four here on the stock remote can be used to basically change the max output from the motor. So if it's in the bottom position like this, it's super slow, it's actually pretty fun. It's basically like a crawler and you have basically like 10% is your max throttle. And then if you flip it here to your middle, that's gonna be like 50% max throttle. And then you flip it forward, that's full 100%. So with this 12S setup, you know, you can pretty easily just change what your max speed is gonna be. And so yeah, this is a pretty plug and play system. There's not really anything you have to do that is too out of the ordinary to fit this setup. But one thing I will mention is we have the 14 tooth pinion installed right now on the motor. That's the smallest pinion. And because of that, it means that our motor is in towards the center of the truck as far as possible. But you can see if we went to put a larger pinion on, it's gonna get close to this suspension link. So a couple things you could do there is you could add a longer bolt here with some more spacers to bring your link further out. Also, if you had maybe the extended link wheelbase, you could get away with a little bit more clearance. But again, this has the 14 tooth pinion. I think you could fit up to about an 18 tooth pinion and still have room here. But what we're really worried about is when you land a jump and the truck fully compresses, you could have an issue where this link hits your motor. Again, this motor was made after we started working on this kit, so we weren't prepared to fit motors this large, but it does fit, and you might just have to do a couple things like adding some washers here. But again, if you use the smallest pinion, it works just fine. It does like 30, 40 miles an hour, which is plenty for us on this 12S setup. So yeah, tons of fun, super simple, and yeah, pretty easy to work on also. 
So a couple of things to note when you use this setup, the remote, you don't really need to do anything too crazy with the settings, but you do wanna make sure that your channel two is working correctly. So that's your throttle here. And you can see it's the second bar on the screen there. You can see it's going full to the right and then full to the left. So this is my throttle. And you just wanna make sure that you see that it's going back to neutral. It's not sticking forward like that maybe going back into the center and then you want to make sure you see it go all the way to the right and all the way to the left that's the main thing that's just going to make sure that your throttle is working correctly um, if it wasn't you can refer to the manual for this remote and you basically just need to adjust your throttle trim maybe or some of your endpoint settings but yeah just double check before you turn your esc on for the first time just double check that your throttle is working correctly like this is all right, so really quickly, I'm going to show you how to calibrate the castle system because it's a little bit different than other ESCs. So the castle system works by you turn the truck on while holding full throttle on your remote and the truck is not going to go full throttle. You might think it will, but it won't. Uh, it knows to not do that. And basically, we're going to have our remote on and then I'm going to turn the truck on and be holding full throttle when I turn it on. And then we're going to look at the lights on the ESC and listen to the beeps. And when we get to the green lights is when I'm gonna let off and then I'll go through the further steps from there. So basically I'm gonna turn it on here. I'm holding full throttle on the remote. Turn it on, it's gonna beep a bunch of times and then we're gonna wait until we see it's flash green. So I'm still holding full throttle. Now I'm gonna let off and then I'm gonna hold full throttle again and you'll see now it beeped a couple times, now it's flashing red because it wants me to hold full brake. So I go hold full brake. And now it's flashing yellow for neutral, so I'm just gonna leave it alone. It's gonna beep a couple more times. And now the um, ESC is live. So basically if I give this gas, you can see the truck start moving. And basically all we did there was tell the ESC what our throttle range and brake range is on the remote. And then the other thing you can see now, what I was talking about with the channel four. So I have it right now in the lowest mode. And if I go full throttle, that's that was top speed for our wheels. So it's super slow mode. Um, and then obviously if I kick it into like 50%, you can see it's much faster. So yeah, that's a really simple uh, setup to just calibrate it. You only need to do that the first time you turn everything on and get everything set up. Uh, you don't need to do this uh, every time you use the truck. You just have to do it once. And yeah, that's been it.